Hi everyone, I recently made a video that covers the new Color Mask script. Although my video only covered a particular version of it, it was version 4, as you can see here, but version 5 is now available. I'm going to take this opportunity to show you how to install a script, uh, the, one of the consequences of making a YouTube video on a script that in this case doesn't have a repository, nor is it part of the official distribution. So you download it from somewhere or someone to install um, in your PixInsight installation. So that's what I'm going to demonstrate how to do. Now, in this particular case, it was announced on the official PixInsight forum, but I have also echoed the link to this latest version on my own site uh, because people can then find it in another place. Um, here on my site, I had a link to this particular page. It's my fundamentals page. And you'll see there's a nice link here for the new color mask script. When you click on it, here I'll clear this out, you will download this to your downloads directory. It'll just automatically go there. So I will look in my downloads directory where I find now the script, the file. If you are using a different operating system, you need to do the analogous steps that I'm showing here for a Windows operating system. So this is a zip file, and I'm going to extract these files. You can do this in a, a gazillion different ways, lots of ways of doing this. But for instructional purposes, what I'm about to do is I'm going to go navigate to my uh, the place that I want to put these files. I'm going to leave them right here. They're in my downloads directory. They're not going anywhere. I go to my C drive where I'm going to go to program files, and then I'm going to go to PixInsight. This is where my installation of the software is. And then where I want to put things is right here, under scripts. It's SRC and then under scripts. You'll find that there's lots of these uh, JavaScripts here, and there are folders that contain more JavaScripts, actually. One of the interesting things about when you install a script in PixInsight is you basically just point to the scripts directory, and it recursively looks everywhere in the directory. So even if you have folders with files in them, it will go into every folder, no matter what they're called, and look for scripts to find, to load. So I can make a folder is the point here. Now in Windows, when you try to make folders in uh, you know, installation areas, uh, you get all kinds of complaints generally, but you should be able to do this as an administrator. I'll just hit continue. And the new folder here, I'm gonna call color mask version 5. I have already have version 4 and all kinds of things, but I'm going to put the files here. So I'm going to go back to my downloads directory where I have my color mask script, a new version. I say extract all, and I'm going to browse to the location that I want, which is the scripts directory, but I just made that cool little directory for us, which is the color mask script version 5. That's where I want to put the files. I'm going to say extract. It's going to you know, tell me, hey, you've got to have permission to do this. I say, go ahead. Yes, please just do it. And there we are. Now, let's go to PixInsight. Just as a reminder, maybe I should bring it up again. What I currently have loaded here, this was, I have multiple versions. This was version three. Here's version four. Let me show you that this is version four, right? So PixInsight as a feature script already knows about that. But what I'd like to do is go into the scripts menu, go to feature scripts where I want to add one. And so I will add a new script. And what this again means is scan the scripts directory for new files. And here it goes. I just point at the scripts directory. I could point directly at that folder, but I'm just going to have it do its recursive thing. And it says one additional script was found. That's the one we want. So we're going to press the OK button. We're going to say done. And now what I'm expecting to see are probably three color mask mods. Now in a moment, I'll want to remove perhaps the other two if this new one works, right? Uh, so let's click on this one. Apparently it was the middle one. It doesn't matter. I'll need to remove them. And I get version 5. So version 5 was installed. And one of the new features is that when you click on colors in your image to select them, there's a new probe size. You can probe um, different apertures, if you will, to average all the colors that you're clicking on. And in this way, if you happen to you know, be working with a noisy image, 
you, you might be clicking on, uh, you might want yellow here, but in detail, one single pixel that you're clicking on could actually be green. So if you have a larger probe size, it would allow you to average all the colors and you're more likely to get the color that you intend to click on uh, when you have a, uh, a more larger aperture. So there we have it. That is how to install a script in PixInsight. Um, I would recommend this idea of making a separate place to install things so there's just no confusion. And what I can always do now, because I know I can safely manage things, this version 5 is there, and uh, I can remove things uh, from the directory if I want so that I won't detect them again if I should you know, do another installation of PixInsight or anything like that. So this one right here is an older version right there. So I could go ahead and delete that if I want. And I think I have, that was probably version three. And here is version four, I can delete this. But just deleting the scripts out of that uh, directory is not going to remove them from here. It still thinks, uh, let's feature scripts, it's still going to think that I have this color mask thing, multiple versions of this color mask tool here. So what I really need to do is remove them from here as well. So here it is. Now, I have to be a little careful here because the one that I clicked on in the middle was, I believe, the one I want to undo. But it doesn't matter. I literally still have the, uh, the files and I can always just add it again. So I'm going to say done here by disable. And hopefully that means when I come here, I only have one color mask, um, you know, instance. Uh, and then, oh, so the one I disabled is not the one. All right, I'm going to disable them all. Let's be clean about it. So that was weird. Uh, so feature scripts, let's disable them all then. Come down to here. This is just so I don't have anything in my menu. That's all I'm doing here by doing this. I hit done like that. There's the one version of it that remains because we literally deleted the other files. We hit done here. I come back to my uh, utilities and here's the color mask and this one is going to be version 5. So that's it. That's a whole bunch of managing and manipulating, you know, scripts, adding and subtracting and so on. Even when it gets confusing because I had multiple versions of things, uh, you can just disable them to make them be forgotten. But I literally remove the files so that if I go in and, you know, scan the directory again, they won't be repopulated, if you will. I hope you enjoyed this and I hope this is a good add-on to the recent example of uh, the script as a... Uh, a, feature, a new featured script that you can install that is not currently part of the official distribution, but I think uh, based on how, you know, how good this is now, it'll probably become so soon enough.